All right, what's up guys? I'm back out in the streams. Uh, it is late August by the time this airs. What is this guy doing? By the time this airs, it's gonna be early September, so it's hot, it's muggy. Uh, it's not the best weather for walking around finding turtles, but I'm gonna walk around and see what I get anyway. Hopefully we get a few different things, so let's see what we get. Try and have some fun. All right, just jumped into this kind of muddy backwater for this young river cooter. These guys are really, really beautiful. They have that bright orange coloration under there, bright orange on the plastron, beautiful eyes, really, really cool. I love these guys. Such an amazing turtle. Always love to see these. And this is the first turtle of the day. So now I'm on the board and I can kind of relax. I was starting to worry. All right, here we go. Loggerhead musk. Ah, gotcha. Oh, that's a nice one. Look at that. Look at that. Nice big head on this guy. This is a very mature male loggerhead musk turtle. Really good looking too. You see his plastron, you can see he's a male. Like a lot of males, missing a lot of the rear of the carapace. And has that nice big head that male loggerhead musk turtles are known for. Awesome, awesome looking turtle. You can see, boom, he's got a strong set of jaws. Yeah, doggy. All right, we're gonna let this guy go. All right, here we go. Another little turtle, looks like a loggerhead musk. Yep, loggerhead musk turtle number two. This one has a nice little bit of pattern on the face. I think that's so cool looking when they get kind of that heavier, thicker patterning. That heavier, thicker patterning is just so unique looking. You know, some of them have fine dots and then when these guys have these big splotchy dots, I think that's pretty cool. Nice, loggerhead musk turtle juvenile. All right, oh, you little spunky dude. Back you go. Another loggerhead musk. Gotcha, oh, this one's a tank. Look at that. Big female, you can tell, small tail, you know, compared to the male that we got earlier. Smaller head, but overall big oval shape. And that's so she can carry more eggs. I'll let her go back where she was. Right, so here at the next spot, it's kind of a floodplain swamp and you can see where the water's been shallow, the snapping turtles have actually plowed through and made trails going back and forth through here to kind of go back and forth from the larger water over there to this kind of weird little channel back here. So I'm gonna keep my eyes peeled and see if I see one. Found this completely cleaned out loggerhead musk turtle shell. Not sure what got it. I'm gonna take a wager raccoons. Midland water snake with a big meal. Looks like he got a hold of a sunfish. And that big girl is gonna attempt to take that down. The funny thing being is it looks like he's already got another meal in the first you know, quarter of her body. So this snake is uh, putting him down as good as he can. It's really awesome to see. Really pretty, pretty water snake too. Luck to you. I hope you can get that down. That's a that's a good meal that'll last a long time. All right. I'm gonna kind of pick through these rocks. See if I can see. This is really good for water snakes, uh, more musk turtles. Also, sometimes you get little map turtles in here. Hopefully, maybe you'll see like a snake basking or something. There's a worm from somebody fishing. Anything in here? Anybody home? There we go. A little stink pot, probably two years old, just walking along the bottom. Look, I see another one over here. Another stink pot. It's funny when you get to places like this, a lot of times where you find one stink pot, you'll find another one right next to it. And sure enough, in this case, we got two stink pots 
really cool. And you typically aren't going to see them in moving water like this. Uh, what you have here is a unique situation where above this uh, spillway is a large mill pond. So it's a lot of still water with a soft bottom, a soft muddy bottom. And that's the habitat that the stink pots like the most. Uh, the natural version of that would be like a beaver pond. Uh, but it drops down to here and the stink pots live a pretty good existence down here at the very base of the spillway. But you almost never see them downstream in the actual creek because that's where a bulk of the loggerhead musk turtles are. And it seems that there might be a little bit of friction between the two because you don't usually see them right next to each other. They usually partition the habitat and that's uh, keeping kind of separate areas where they both can do well. So pretty cool. I'm gonna let these guys go, but really stoked to see some stink pots. It's a nice mix uh, from the loggerheads that we've been catching. AKA common musk turtle. These guys are awesome. Love getting into these little shallows and you can see in between these rocks, it's like a perfect place for a little musk turtle to hunt around for food. And that's exactly what these guys are doing. They're gonna be eating little things like snails, small crayfish, uh, some of the small clams, and just kind of run around being musk turtles. You can see this is a little female. She has a small tail and that little tiny plastron. And then right here and here, are the raptis glands and that's what produces that musk that they're so well known for. We're gonna go ahead and let this girl go. Right back where she lives, you can see it almost completely disappears against the bottom. All right guys, so that's what I was able to get with half of a day, but I'm pretty stoked. Anytime you're able to get turtles, especially on some of the hottest days of the summer, uh, I'm always stoked. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, be sure to like, comment, and share these videos. If you like these videos and you want to see more of them, be sure to share them. Uh, share them on Instagram, share them on Facebook, share them with your friends, send them to your parents. Make sure everybody sees them and help the channel grow and I'll be able to keep doing this. So thank you and I'll see you guys next week.